I've already made videos on this channel about how you can use generative AI in your smart home with Home Assistant. However, in my prior testing, Gen AI was unreliable in carrying out my smart home commands, and in some cases, it even freaked out my family. But this time, it's different. I've got something that I'm now using every single day, and my wife and I both love it. I'm gonna show you how to share camera footage, like from a video doorbell, with a large language model, or LLM. The LLM will describe what is happening in a camera image or stream, and then send you a message with that description. There are so many exciting and fun things you can do with this, and I'm gonna show you how to make it happen. There are links in the description for a written version of this tutorial in case you find that helpful. All right, let's take a look at how I set this up and how I'm using it in my smart home. This whole thing is made possible by a hacks integration for Home Assistant called LLM Vision. You can use it to analyze images, video, live camera feeds, and frigate events thanks to the vision capabilities of LLMs. This means it can describe the number and appearance of people appearing on a camera, identify license plate numbers on cars, and a ton more. After seeing this, you'll realize that getting a notification saying something like front door motion feels like a thing of the past. Instead, you can get a notification telling you a mail carrier delivers mail at the front door. You can even tell the LLM to remember camera events so you can ask about them later. For example, you could ask your smart home, has my package been delivered yet? Or have you seen the dog or cat outside? For the easiest setup, it works with cloud providers like OpenAI, Anthropic, Google Gemini, and Grok. But you can also use it with local providers on your own hardware like Local AI and Olama. All right, to get started in Home Assistant, you're gonna to wanna to go to Hacks, and then in the upper right, click the three dots, and then choose Custom Repositories. And here, you're gonna paste in the GitHub link for the LLM Vision repo, which I will link to in the video description, so you can just grab it there. After you paste that in, you choose Type, and then Integration, and then go ahead and click Add. I already added it. And when you do add it, we will see something like this on your screen, except you will have an install button, I believe in the lower right-hand corner. Go ahead and click install, and I believe probably restart Home Assistant after you install it. After Home Assistant restarts, go to settings, device and services, click add integration in the lower right, and then you'll search for LLM Vision, and you should be able to find it at that point. Click on it and then choose your provider. Provider is the LLM model that you're going to uh, want to use. In my case, I'm using Google Gemini. So I selected Google and then you would click Submit. Then the LLM vision will show up here within your integrations page. So I can go ahead and open up LLM vision right here and you can see Google Gemini is already listed because that is the provider that I chose. Now to actually use this, you need to add Google Gemini as an integration itself into Home Assistant or a different cloud provider if that's the way that you wanna go, such as OpenAI. Now, to do that, for example, with Google Gemini, you would need to go to the Google uh, AI Studio and you can grab an API key. I'll leave a link for this also in the description. It's very simple. You come to this, this page, you click Create API Key, you can add it to an existing or a new project. If you already have one, it doesn't really matter, but you can go ahead and generate an API key. And once you do that, you'll just copy that API key and then head back over to Home Assistant. And you would go to Add Integration in the lower right. This time you'll search for Google, then choose the Google Generative AI integration and paste in that API key that I showed you a moment ago. At this point, you should be good to start playing around with LLM Vision in your Home Assistant server. To just test it out, you can go to Developer Tools, then click Actions, and then search for LLM Vision. You have several options here for all the different ways that the LLM can um, analyze either camera streams, video images, or more. Let's go ahead and just play, out, play around with an image analyzer. So here I can choose the provider. In my case, it's Google Gemini that I already added. 
Uh, you can specify the model that you want to use. If you don't, it will just pick one. But, but I have found better experience with uh, the Google Gemini 1.5 Pro model. Um, and then you want to give it a prompt for what you want the LLM to do. So in my case, I'm just going to say, describe the image. You can select if you want to remember this event, so you can ask about it later. And then this is for analyzing an image. I need to give it a path to where I store snapshots from my video doorbell within my home assistant configuration. This is the path that I'm using right here. Yours may be different, or you may name the file probably something different. So you would use your image file path right here. And then for image entity, you're going to choose the camera that you want to pull this from. So I'm going to pull my um, front doorbell. You can make more adjustments here, uh, but I'm going to leave those as the default for right now. These are all the different models that you can use with LLM Vision right here. Let's go ahead and first test this out using Gemini 1.5 Flash. Now, since I'm going to analyze an image, not a live stream with a camera, I actually don't need to put in the image entity right here. I can go ahead and uncheck that. Let's go ahead and click Perform Action. Okay. And it says, here's a description of the image. The image is a still from a security camera, specifically a doorbell camera showing a suburban street scene on an overcast day. Okay, so that's what it gets when I tell it just describe an image, but I could get more specific with this and say, describe the image in one sentence. If you see people, describe their appearance. Let's try that now, hit perform action. And now I see we got a very different response. This is a man wearing a gray long sleeve shirt and dark pants, walks up a set of steps to a house on an overcast day carrying a red object. Now we can actually go to that image and validate that this is correct by going into my home assistant configuration. And here is the image in question right here that it's analyzing. This is the man in a long sleeve shirt and pants carrying a red object. So let's see what this looks like in the context of an actual automation that you might use in your smart home. So we can go to settings, automations, and I'll pull up the notification doorbell motion uh, automation I've created to kind of walk through what this would look like. So in my case, the event's triggered by when a person is detected at the front door. This is using the person detection entity of my Unify G4 doorbell camera. And then these conditions are very specific to me. So you may not want or need any of these. I'll ignore that for right now. So when a person is detected at the front door, bell camera, what then? So have a delay for one second and then take a snapshot of the camera image and save it to this file right here. This is the file that we looked at earlier. So all the durable snapshots are saved right here. Then I will tell LLM Vision to analyze that image. And you can see here I'm using Gemini 1.5 Pro as the model. I tell it, describe the image in one sentence. If you see a person, describe what they look like. Make the description a bit cheeky. Now, you certainly don't need this last part here. I added this just for fun. We can take a look at you know what it looks like with and without that in there and kind of the added humor that it brings. If you want just a very straightforward description, you wouldn't need something like that, like that in there, but you can write this prompt however you want. This is your instruction to the LLM for what you want it to do for you. So that once again, it's gonna use uh, this image file path right here to analyze that image. And then at the very bottom, this response variable, I go ahead and type in response down here and you'll see why in a moment. So that tells the LLM to analyze the image and then I want to send notification to my phone and to my wife's phone about what's happening at the front door. So I choose perform action, send notification to my mobile app with Home Assistant on it. And there's a bunch of things going on here, but the main thing that you would need to do is to have this in the message, this response dot response underscore text. That ties back to the response variable that we looked at from the LLM vision analyzer right here. Basically it's saying input the response from LLM right here into your message. I chose to optionally add some additional things here, such as putting the exact timestamp of when that motion was, or the person was detected 
at the front door. Uh, and then I gave it a title, just front door motion. And then I like to see the image right there. So this is pulling the image from my config file to show it in that push notification. And then I also have an option where I can press a button and it will open up the live camera stream as well if I want to jump into that. And I just replicate this exact same thing going to my wife's phone. But it's not just about video doorbell events or even humor. You could have it tell you other useful things like if the trash bins have been moved to the curb, recognize cars based on license plates, determine if a UPS driver already visited, get a summary of what's happening around your house, or leave an alert on a smart home dashboard that a package is outside waiting for you to grab it. Before using this, having a person detect at the front door was a rather mundane thing. Now I look forward to whatever hilarious description the LLM is going to come up with next. My wife and I are often cracking up at these descriptions. They're not only useful, but a lot of fun too. And I'm eager to see what other ways I can put this to use in my smart home, plus ideas that others share in the home assistant community. Let me know in the comments if you would give something like this a go, or if you already have and what you think of it. If you're interested in other ways that I've used generative AI in my smart home, I'll link to those videos in the description. If you're interested in supporting this channel, consider becoming a member using the links in the description. If you found the video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for tech reviews and tutorials that help you become more productive. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.